Are you new to the Provo Orem area? Or maybe you currently live in the local area? Well, on this video, we're going to talk about my choices for some great places to grab a bite to eat at. You're probably familiar with the chain restaurants, the Applebee's, the Chili's, the Denny's, the Red Lobster, etc., etc. All those big boys that get thrown all over the internet and on TV advertisement. Well, on this video, we're going to talk about the mom and pop restaurants that the locals eat at. We're going to talk about breakfast lunch, dinner, and I'm going to throw in a coffee shop. Now, every restaurant on the list I have personally eaten at. And I'm also going to share with you my top dishes that I eat every time I go to one of these establishments. This is probably the most honest video that you will find on local restaurants on YouTube. Why? Because I'm not being paid by anyone on the list or receiving any kind of compensation. No free meals, no free coffee, absolutely zero. And we're getting after it right now. And I'm Mike Gallagher. And if you want to learn everything about living in Utah, eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, whatever there is, you've come to the right channel. On this channel, I produce a weekly video on living in Utah. I also hold a live question and answer session every Thursday evening that you're welcome to join. Bring your questions. If you'd like to be notified of those events, tap the subscribe button down below. Also, tap that bell notification. You'll be alerted every time a new event occurs. And honestly, we're receiving so many phone calls and emails from all over the world, and we absolutely love it. So if you are looking at buying or selling real estate in Utah, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We got your back when moving to Utah. Let's get started with my personal list from just an average consumer. You know, I have not eaten at every restaurant in the area. So if you have any recommendations of a great place to eat in the Provo Orm area, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always up to trying new places. You never know, maybe that restaurant will make my video next year. Let's get started with the Orm, Utah area. So first on the list, we have Hoppus Hawaiian Style Barbecue, located at 133 South State Street in Orm, Utah. Very, very easy to find right off the major road. Plenty of parking. This is a new business, and I have only eaten there once, but I was very impressed. And I had a tough decision. Do I put it on the list or not? Yes or no? But many, many friends kept telling me, Mike, you have to go there. You have to try it before you produce your list. So I went. I think in Utah, it's hard to find good Hawaiian food, or at least I have a hard time finding good Hawaiian food. And this place is doing it right. When I went there, I ordered the two meat meal. I chose the spicy pork and the garlic chicken. I had some brown rice and I had their special macaroni salad. Macaroni salad was absolutely awesome. The garlic chicken was awesome also. Every bite that I took reminded me of vacations that I've taken in Hawaii. Very, very good. I will definitely be back to this location. Coming up next on my list, I have a Mexican place called Maria Bonita at 167 West, 800 North in Orm, Utah. Very easy to find. Just a little bit difficult to get in the parking lot. If you're going down 800 North, you have to make a sharp turn into the establishment. If you're coming off State Street, you have to make a quick turn into their building. If you blink an eye, you will miss the location, have to drive down the road, do a U-turn, come all the way back. A little difficult to get in from the other direction. It is my go-to place for Mexican in the area. Hands down, no questions asked. As soon as they get you seated, you get to the restaurant and they find a seat for you, they serve you with a large portion of salsa and chips. I can't stop eating the salsa. Matter of fact, when my meal comes, I'm already half full. I usually take home about half to three quarters of my meal every time I go there. My go-to menu item has to be the shredded beef chimichanga. Why is that? Because the meat is soft, absolutely fantastic. The exact way I like it being cooked. They top it off with rice and beans, cheese on top. I have a warning for you though, the portion sizes are very large. Hope you're hungry. And I have another warning too. Every time I've gone here, there is a line out the door. In the future, they may need to purchase a larger location. Next on my list is a Saudi Argentinian Grill at 360 South State Street in Orm, Utah. Very easy to find, conveniently located on State Street. 
Now, I don't know much about Argentinian food, but this place is amazing. I have eaten here numerous times. Whether it's one of their burgers or their steak offerings or their amazing desserts and their amazing asado fries, I've never been disappointed. My go-to meal every time I go here has to be a burger with their asado fries. But I also really love their homemade bread that they serve with this incredible sauce. I do not know what's in the sauce. I actually tried to buy some on one of my visits, but they did not have it available in like a jar to go. A shame, maybe in the future they'll offer it. It's very good. In summary, this is a local restaurant that's run by great people that serve up some great Argentinian food. If you've never eaten Argentinian food, this would be the place to go to to try it out for the first time. Next on my list, I have a breakfast and brunch location for you. It's called True Religion Pancake and Steakhouse at 360 South State Street in Orm, Utah. Very, very easy to find. Located right there on State Street. It is actually right next to the Asado Argentinian that I just mentioned last. This is easily my favorite breakfast and brunch choice in all of Utah County. Hands down, no questions asked. But when you go there, be prepared for a huge menu and many, many choices. It might take you 15 minutes to decide on what to eat. My choice, well, I'm a meat and potato type of guy. So I normally order the 10 ounce Cattleman, which is a prime strip steak with eggs, hash browns, and choice of biscuit, cinnamon roll, or pancakes. Very, very filling. It's a large plate, so be prepared and be hungry. The only negative I have about this place is it's usually crowded. A lot of people in Utah County know about the location and visit it very often. My tip though would be to sit at the bar. It's usually a shorter wait time. Talking about waiting, I can't wait for my next visit. Next on my list is a taco location called Holy Taco, located at 327 East, 1200 South in Orm, Utah. Now this is a new business. I call this place holy, I can't find the place. You could drive up and down 1200 South all day long, you will not find it. You get to 327 East, there's a little strip mall, they are one of the businesses in the strip mall. Now, there's no sign up above, they have blacked out windows, the only sign I could find was on the door for the entrance. If you can locate this business, you have found a gem. When you're here, the tacos are awesome, and I think they're very affordable. The meat is very tender and juicy, and it's probably one of the best tortillas I've ever had. I have no doubt that when word gets out about this business, they will have to find a larger location. I've only been there once, but I was very impressed, and I had to add it to my list. Next on my list is a chicken location called Cluck's Crispy Chicken at 1066 South, 750 East in Orem, Utah. Very, very easy to find. If you're looking for a place that serves juicy, crispy chicken, this is the place, no doubt about it. Choices, there are many, many choices on the menu. I think all the sandwiches are great. Now, if I had to pick just one sandwich off the menu, I would probably choose the ultimate spicy chicken sandwich. It's crispy, savory, sweet, spicy, all in one sandwich. Every bite that I take, the flavor seems to change. I've eaten here numerous times, and I do have some other favorites on the menu, like the garlic chicken and the Korean barbecue, and I absolutely love their curly fries. So let's head a little bit further south to Provo, Utah, and go over some amazing places to grab a bite to eat in the local area. So first on the list, I have a place to grab some dessert. It's called The Wash, W-A-S-H, real simple to remember. It's at 1195 North Canyon Road in Provo, Utah. It's right next to BYU University. You will see students here from time to time. It's one of the top joints for the local students. If I had to describe this place in a sentence or two, I would call it a fun little dessert joint with great ambience and great choices for food and drink. I think it's a great spot to take a date. Maybe you go to the movie theater, maybe you catch a ball game, and afterwards you want a place to grab some dessert? Give this place a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I have a couple recommendations for you. The first is a food item, the loaded fries. They pack it with cheese, bacon, and a special sauce, and there's loads of toppings, so 
Nearly every French fry that you eat will have a topping. Desserts. The list is large. I cannot choose just one item, so I chose two items. That would be the pina colada and the bubble waffle with ice cream. Ooh. Absolutely delicious. I do have a warning about this place. If you have a sweet tooth, it, this place can be addictive. Next on my list for Provo, Utah is a restaurant called Cubby's. They spell it C-U-B-B-Y-S. It's located at 1258 North State Street in Provo, Utah. This is the type of restaurant that you can go there and try a different menu item every time you go and still be in love with the restaurant. Speaking of items on the menu, if you're looking for some healthy food items, you will find it at Cubby's. I do have a few recommendations. It's just not one or two. It's more like three, four, five, or six. There's a lot of things on the menu that I absolutely love. So let's start with the tri-tip steak. Absolutely amazing. I've got a couple fry options for you also. The smoky barbecue blue cheese fries and also the buffalo blue fries. That's my go-to fries for the menu. I also love their Nashville chicken sandwich. And one more item, just squeeze one more in there. The tri-tip tacos are amazing. Every time I go to this restaurant, I leave very satisfied and I cannot wait to go back for my next visit. Coming up next on my list, I have the Black Sheep Cafe at 19 North University Avenue in Provo, Utah. If I had to describe this restaurant, in my opinion, they have fused together Mexican and Navajo cuisine. So my recommendations, I've got two for you. The Navajo tacos with rice and beans. You cannot go wrong with that meal. I have another one for you. The barbecue bacon buffalo burger. Now this is a big burger. It's got a pretzel bun, a bison patty, cheese, barbecue sauce, lettuce, tomato, bacon, and I usually order it with an order of sweet potato fries. Now this is a small location, so a 20 to 25 minute wait for a table is not uncommon. How about some Thai cuisine? Well, I've got a place for you here in Provo, Utah. It's called Silver Dish Thai Cuisine at 278 West Center Street in Provo. It's a great location for some Thai food. In my opinion, the best Thai food in Utah County. Why is that? I think that the curries are smooth and flavorful with the right amount of spice and heat, and it is very reasonably priced, about eight to $10 a dish. You can't beat that. As far as my choices go, I've got a few for you. Let's start with appetizers. I got two, the fried spring rolls or the cream cheese wonton. As far as main dishes go, I've got two also for you. The yellow curry or the mango curry is very good. Now, if you would like a salad, they do an amazing mango salad. So next on my list, I have some street tacos and my go-to place is Street Tacos Don at 150 West, 1230 North in Provo, Utah. If you're a fan of street tacos like I am, you have to give this place a try. It is probably the best street tacos that you will find in all of Utah County. This business, you get high quality and excellent prices. I think that the menu pricing is very, very reasonable. My go-to choices every time I go there, I have three items for you. The Asada Tacos, the Asada Burrito, and the Polo Asado Quesadillas. Any one of these items I think you will gladly enjoy. But it's not only the good food. Every time I go here, the customer service is top-notch, excellent. I have never been disappointed. Coming up next on my list, I have a coffee shop for you. It's called Dutch Brothers Coffee, 1310 North University Avenue, Provo, Utah. Every time I drive by this location, it seems packed. They seem to be doing a boom in business. But they do have a walk-up window so you can get a drink or they have a drive through for your convenience. Now, coffee is their mainstay, but they offer other drinks also, like tea and energy drinks and smoothies and a variety of lemonades, some Dutch cocoa, and some good treats to go with your drink. So my go-to drinks when I go here has to be the Americano coffee. But if I'm in the mood for a cocoa, I have two recommendations, the double chocolate cocoa and the white chocolate cocoa. So in conclusion, that's my top recommendations for a bite to eat in the Provo Orm area. If you do have any recommendations of your own, I'd love to hear about them in the comments down below. I'm always up to trying new places. Until the next video, 
Take care and stay safe.